Hey guys, it's Paul from Musky Beard, and I'm a Korean American, and I'm gonna kind of answer the question why Asians can't grow beards. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. Basically, I've been trying to grow up my beard for like almost six months now. And it's not much. I've actually been using minoxidil, which is like a hair growth ingredient. And this is still that I got. So having said this, there seems to be some sort of grounding for this myth or for this stereotype that Asians can't grow beards. Obviously, this is a stereotype and nothing more, but there is some sort of common truth or common grounding to this because in order for stereotypes to even exist there has to be it has to be a common phenomenon right now having all said all this i'm going to approach this question to the best of my abilities and uh first one is our culture our culture now if you look at the culture we don't you don't see that many asians rocking beards if you look at the media if you look at k-pop if you look at all this stuff there really aren't that many Asian men representing the badassness of having a beard. Because Western and European cultures, uh, they accept beards as very attractive. They have a lot of positive associations with them. But when you go over and look over at the Asian cultures, these negative associations are very highly prevalent. Like uh, some of the negative stereotypes of having beards are like looking too masculine or looking too aggressive, not looking sociable, not being personable, uh, looking a bit too edgy, looking ungroomed, all, the list goes on and on. But then if you look at the Asian cultures, these negative stereotypes are pretty much the only thing that you see. And because of the trends, you know, the global trend of uh, beards being in and everybody's interests, this trend, this the negative stereotypes is slightly diminishing. You see more Asian people rocking beards, but it's still there and it's still going to take a hell of a lot of time to kind of dissipate, diminish this, uh, this negative stereotype. Uh, obviously, why we're growing a beard is for the positive associations, right? So that's kind of one reason why don't we grow it because of culture. Another thing is because Asians simply don't commit to the beard growth journey. First, you ask them, hey man, do you want to grow a beard? And they're like, yeah, yeah, sure, why not? And then like, uh, I ask them like, oh, have you ever actually tried to grow a beard? And they're like, yeah, I mean, I tried a little bit, but I just can't grow a beard. How long have you actually tried to grow a beard? They reply, two weeks or maybe a month, you know. If you guys are on this journey, you guys know that's, hey, that ain't shit, okay? Three months is a very good foundation. It's a very minimum, okay? Anything under that doesn't really cut it, you know? You don't really have a solid understanding of your genetic capacity to grow facial hair. If you wanna use Minox still, how much you can actually grow will, it'll increase a lot. Uh, if you're interested in that, check out my videos on Monox. They'll check out other YouTubers and their amazing results. Asians don't particularly commit to the beard growth journey. This has to do with their culture, their relatives. They don't see a lot of Asians rocking beards, so they automatically assume they don't have the genetics to grow a beard. And then there's a third one, right? The third one is that Asians have low testosterone, right? If you look at Asians in the media, they're seen as, you know, nerds or the undateable guy, the unattractive guy. You never see them as the alpha male. You never see them as like, you only see them as like fucking like Jack Chan, whatever, you know, like eating noodles and shit, you know, eating like fucking ramen and fucking, you know, pandas and fucking chopsticks and fucking karate, kung fu, whatever, stereotypes go on and on, small penis, whatever. I mean, they, I've heard them all. I fucking heard them all, but I don't give a shit. I don't identify myself with any of that. I identify myself, identify with myself with the things that I believe in. But there is a stereotype, there is a common myth that Asians have low testosterone. Now, this is gonna blow your mind. There have been studies, and even the studies, even these people that write these articles have a hypothesis, all have a similar hypothesis that Africans have the highest amount of testosterone. Europeans have the intermediate amount of testosterone. Eastern Asians have the lowest amount of testosterone. I read this and I mean, I don't really doubt it. It just seems like that's true. And they've actually collected average samples of, uh, of all these populations and ethnicities, testosterone, total testosterone amounts. And they found that Eastern Asians had the highest amount of testosterone. They had the highest amount of testosterone, 
Africans had the second, and Europeans had the third, the lowest amount of testosterone. Now, isn't it like think about that for a second? The way Asians are portrayed in media, the way that you might think of Asians, data and this research has shown that they have the highest amount of testosterone. Testosterone. You can look up the articles. I'll have a couple links in below. There's also a finding that Asians had the lowest amount of sensitivity towards, uh, what is it, uh, testosterone. But there isn't really a solid answer to the, uh, the genetic androgen uh, equation of uh, beard growth. Something that we really can't know for sure because genetics and ethnicities uh, we'd have to go back from the roots of historical data and like all this stuff evolutionary, evolutionarily speaking, it's, it's, it's very complicated. Uh, there will never be an answer probably, but if you're an Asian, I would suggest that you freaking like you, you commit to this journey. Maybe subscribe to my channel. I'm an Asian trying to grow my best beard. Uh, hopefully that'll motivate you guys as always. You guys have a good one. Thank you guys for watching.